Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Jay Burness and I run a concussion focused functional neurology and chiropractic practice in Oakville, Ontario. And I'm in the office today on a Saturday, just getting caught up on some emails, and I was just, just answering one, and uh, it made me think of something, so I thought I'd just, just share it. So, so uh, this person had a, had a head bump. Uh, she was a patient of mine a year ago and had a head bump, and uh, another head bump since, since she's recovered, and uh, very much uh, um, worried about her, her, her condition relapsing. Anyway, I addressed that uh, in another video, but uh, it made me think, you know, uh, so she, she hit her head again. I took a, took a volleyball or a ball to the face. And, uh, you know, it brings up an important point that, you know, not all head bumps are concussions. And interestingly enough, not all concussions are head bumps. And so I've, I've had a few cases over the years that, uh, you know, people had concussion symptoms or uh, had given themselves a concussion without actually hitting their head. Uh, one that I can think of was a, was a very loud sound. Somebody was working in, a, in an automotive environment, uh, working on trucks or something like that, and, and uh, a, a loud truck horn went off and they withdrew so quickly from the noise that they gave themselves a concussion. And another, uh, another uh, bizarre one was I actually had a patient who uh, who had a mole removed. She had a mole removed from her eyebrow. So a little bit of uh, plastic surgery and developed full on concussion symptoms. And of course I have seen others as well, uh, dental procedures. Uh, wisdom teeth is probably one I've seen more than a few times where people have wisdom teeth pulled and they develop concussion symptoms. And, and um, so, and basically they're gonna be treated just like a concussion. Um, you know, most commonly the symptoms that they develop with, uh, with dental work or with, with surgery. The one person was a POTS patient who actually developed POTS after having that uh, uh, mole removed from the, from the eyebrow. Um, is, you know, they, this uh, facial surgeries and, and dental work are a really strong trigeminal stimulation. And I've talked about the trigeminal nucleus before in some of my headache videos, but, but basically the central processing nuclei and system for all sensations in your head goes to the trigeminal nucleus and up to the brain. And that, for some people, that trigeminal nucleus, uh, if you insult it hard enough, uh, it will drive plasticity for change in that nucleus. And now you're going to perseverate on that symptom and develop headaches or what other sim other symptoms there are. And especially, you know, if somebody's had a concussion before, right? And then you and it involved that area of the brainstem. And then you overstimulate that area with a with a wisdom tooth removal or some kind of surgical procedure. Yeah, it's 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 possible to uh, ramp up or to overload that system. And I don't think overloads the right word, but push that symptom that area of the brain past its capacity, and now you're driving symptoms that look a lot like concussion. So again, just just thought of it. Thought I'd create a video that uh, you know not all. Head bumps are concussions and not all concussions are head bumps. So thanks for watching.